orange one looks like probably the most potential. So right off the bat, I see it looks kind of like maybe somebody's been in here before all the screws are out. Huh. Is that for this mower? <laughs> Let's dribble a little gas in there. Since we know it's gonna run, let's dig in a little deeper. I'm gonna get this cover off. Would it make sense for the carburet, for the linkage from this to go all the way back to here and then use this linkage to come back? Why would it do that? Hmm. Alright. Let's get this bowl off, take a look at it. It smells delightful. So there's some dirt in there, but it actually doesn't look too bad. It's not all corroded and stuff, so it looks like we're in pretty good shape. some clean fuel in, swished it around, and drained that through, so that should be the end of that. Uh, it actually doesn't look too bad. I don't see any water in there, and uh, the color's not bad, but it smells terrible. All right, so in an attempt to get rid of some of the gasoline, bad gasoline smell that's in here, I'm going to wash this down a little bit. Got a little uh, soapy water, and uh, I'm going to give it a clean up. 
Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. So let's dig into that carburetor a little bit more. It's been a little while since I've worked on this and I'm trying to get back to it. The, uh, I did do a couple of things, uh, well, in the interim. So this is the main jet, right? Um, and what I found was it kind of seems like somebody was using the right stuff and they sealed this, um, which clogged up the holes <laughs> for the for the jet and I have a feeling that maybe that was the reason that this was having trouble so I did I took a plastic bristle from a brush and poked that through and clean clean the holes out uh, I am gonna soak it uh, in some carb cleaner to clean out any other debris that might be in there um, I'm also going to soak a couple other things, I'll soak the bowl. So yeah, see this is not actually a, a, a gasket, this is like the right stuff gasket maker, I believe. Uh, so somebody was having fun with that. Let's see if we can get this off. So, yeah, there was actually um, some debris in here, too. And so I did, I have a brass brush, a little rotary tool that has a brass brass brush for, that I have a brass brush for it. This one, and this one, and I use those to, to clean off around here, and uh, to clean around this edge a little bit. So, got most of the debris out, I believe. There's the needle. Come on, this just wanted to fall out before. There it goes. So I'm going to clean a few of these parts. I'm not going to throw this in because it has, I'm not going to throw the whole carburetor body in, although it kind of looks like I should, but there's plastic pieces and stuff that I can't get out, so I'm going to leave it alone for now. But yeah, I'm going to throw in the bowl, this. The, uh, the main jet and the float. Let's see if we can clean these items up a little bit. Throw the needle in there too. Let that all soak. So let that soak for a little while and then check back. Alrighty, these things have been soaking for a while. Alright, those are all the items that I threw in to the cleaner. That looks good. Good as new. And I'm going to get some air and blow this out.
I feel air go coming out of both ports. That's a good sign. Okay. All right, let's put this card back together and get it back on the mower. Anything through the carburetor so the carburetors still not clean I can see fuel seeping around the around the edge of the bowl so there's fuel in the bowl but it's not getting through the carburetor so that's the end of part two will I get it running in part three find out next time on the fix-it shed <laughs>